Yeah, it's okay to look for people that want to buy or sell today. Sure, we got to do that. But but also, let's go ahead and, uh, and accumulate these relationships with people that don't want to buy or sell today that will later. Yep. That's where you go really big. This is what I believe. I'm sharing that with you for nothing. Just get out there and succeed. And what did that teach you about yourself? Like when you say losing everything, what do you mean? You know, like um, I got in real estate when I was 20 and I made a million dollars before I was 23 and lost everything in the crash. I went bankrupt. I was sleeping on friends' couches, slept in my car. Um, you know, I worked on an oil rig. I was roofing houses, um, you know, lost everything, had nothing, um, absolutely nothing. So, yeah, when I came back from that, I had to kind of rise from the ashes and try to figure out where I went wrong the first time, you know? Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm curious to hear because I feel like a lot of us have been maybe not in that exact same situation where it's totally desperate, but a lot of people get into those, you know, really low points in their life. So what, what got you through that? Well, or you know, who? to be honest with you, I didn't really care that I lost everything. I didn't care that I was sleeping in my car, and, you know, drinking a lot and sleeping on friends' couches and doing all those things. I didn't really care too much because I kind of always had the, the, uh, the long-term bigger vision, you know, like I could see the big picture the whole time. Like I knew that I would come back and do something. I didn't know I'd get back into real estate. Like yep. I literally didn't even think I'd sell another property ever again. You know, that's how bad it was. Um, you know, I didn't think I'd ever sell real estate again, but, um, you know, that ended up being what I eventually got back into and realized a lot of things about real estate. Like the fact that closings happen every day, you know, through the crash closings continue to happen every day. And, and when I sat back and watched the market, I realized that was one of the big things I realized. And it was like, oh, OK, you know, uh, if I would have known that this was about people and not deals, I could have, you know, continued to sell, you know, a massive amount of properties through the one of the worst real estate crashes we've ever seen. Um, if I would have been more focused on relationships, you okay. know, so that opened up my eyes to a lot of things. but. What I wanted to do when I came back was to build a business that would that would um, handle any kind of market scenario, any kind of market swing, because I never wanted to have that feeling again where I lost everything. I wanted to build it and have a have a, a foundation in place that could never really be torn down, you know, and that that's where, you know, that's where uh, all my philosophies kind of came together when I watched the market. I'm one of these guys. You only got to teach me something one time. Right. Yep. So. So as I realized what I did wrong, I said, okay, I'll never do that again. You know, uh, I'm going to focus more on people because when you, when you put relationships in place, you get so much repeat business and referrals and referrals of referrals. And that's what people don't, you know, they're just looking for a prospect that wants to buy or sell something today when it's like, it's not even about that. It's about, you know, do they have an agent they're going to work with, you know, later on down the road when they do decide to do something, you know, and the more of those relationships you can put in place, the bigger your business is going to be, you know, and the more you're going to flourish and be able to actually scale. Because when you're just so short sighted that you're just looking for people that want to buy or sell today only. Yeah, it's OK to look for people that want to buy or sell today. Sure, we got to do that. But but also let's go ahead and, uh, and accumulate these relationships with people that don't want to buy or sell today that will later. Yep. That's where you go really big. Thank you.